Hey everybody, welcome to the Two Bro Gamers Podcast. I'm Steve. I'm Ricky. And uh, we're going to jump right into the show, number 33. 32, actually. 32, I'm lying to you. <laughs> Call me a liar. 32. It's all right. So uh, yeah, we uh, had our talk about Apex. This time we're just going to talk about everything else. So we're just going to jump into one single item that we have on Smash Bros. Uh, as we talked about before, actually we may have one more, but uh, as we talked to you before... Uh, we told you that the uh, album has already been released. The two, uh, you know, CDs that were supposed to come out for free uh, th- when you register the 3DS version of Smash Bros. and the Wii U version. Now, this version right here uh, came out in Japan first, obviously, and then it was going to be um, uh, coming out in the other countries like US and UK and whatnot. And so uh, somebody had noticed this interesting note. It's Sakurai's liner notes. And uh, in it, it says... Um, uh, in, in Japanese, it says, it, it, I, I can't read it, obviously, but uh, the person who tweeted it out, Kyle McLean, and you can uh, look it up in his Twitter, we'll also link to this article as well, he said that uh, it's interesting, according to Sakurai's liner notes, they can't sell the Smash soundtrack due to rights issues. Hmm. Which is interesting, I guess. I guess, you know, they, they might have collaborated with some artists to make the soundtrack happen, so I guess they can't legally sell it, maybe? Well, they sold it in the game. Maybe they can't sell it as an album, as a separate entity itself. Who knows? Maybe, Maybe the contract I don't know, that but, uh, they sold. Just be happy you're getting it for free. Yeah, that's true. That's <laughs> why, why not just be happy you're getting it for free? Yeah, but then again, you know, torrents are going to happen and people are going to spread it. True. That's, that's the thing, too. That or there are people who may not have registered both games who can't, who aren't getting the game, who aren't getting the soundtrack for free. Mm. And so they would probably just want to buy it, but they just, they can't sell it. So, yeah, that's a problem, I guess. Yeah, that that would uh, that would cause an issue. So now we want to go into all the games. Um, well, first and foremost, before we do that, we have to shout out to another uh, a YouTube channel, uh, Rooster Teeth, uh, is known <laughs> pretty much out there. Yeah. And one of their uh, animators uh, unfortunately passed away, so we wanted to give a shout out. He was only to, 33 years old. That's the crazy part, man. He's just 33. He's a young uh, guy. Yeah, uh, Monty Um, he um uh, he passed uh, the other day. Uh, he actually passed from a severe allergic reaction during a, a uh, what is called a simple medical procedure that put him in a coma. Wow. So yeah, and that's and that's something serious. That's why you know doctors ask, are you allergic to certain things? But and there's also a fund going for him. Uh, we'll link that as well. Uh, I don't know if it's actually still going on, uh, but they raised uh, the fans for him has raised uh, over uh, 180 thousand dollars for him at the time of like the article that I'm reading. Uh, Rooster Teeth didn't even post anything uh, this week. Uh, because of, the, of his passing, you know, it shows respect. Just kind yeah. of, you know, move on from that, which, uh, you know, you got to respect that. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. I'm a little uh, under the weather as well, so. It's all good. <laughs> Pushing uh, through that. It's been been crappy here. Yeah. Now, yeah, all the snow. <laughs> Too much snow. <laughs> now, um, uh, we're going on to something else that happened uh, this past weekend. That was huge, apparently. Yeah, uh, no, it's called the Super Bowl or something. Yeah, the Super Bowl. <laughs> now, um, we we should have talked about this last week, and we didn't because you know whatever <laughs> it it happens. Uh, but you know, Madden if Madden games have been predicting uh, Super Bowl uh, outcomes for the last couple of years. I know it, it it got I think two or three wrong out of like the uh, ten or eleven times that it's done so. Uh, oh, excuse me, eight of the 11 last winners. And uh, this time it actually got the correct uh, outcome to a point where this is the first time it ever happened that he got the exact score right. It even got the almost the exact play right. On the, yeah. It, it called the uh, Tom Brady to Julian Edelman fader out for a game-winning touchdown. Yeah. And that's exactly what happened in the game. I mean, <sighs> we're not going to talk about the bonehead Pete Carroll call, oh, God, but yeah, eh, let's not. Let's not let's, go uh, I'm just saying it, it called the last score correctly. Yeah, no matter, is, they got the time wrong, but yeah, whatever. It, it's just bizarre that it yeah. did that, and that's the first time it's ever done that. Yeah, and, that that was insane. And uh, I, I know two of those times I think I predicted the Giants to lose. So uh, <laughs> they should have, but hey, yeah, no, but we're not talking about the sports show. <laughs> this is a gaming show. What are we doing? <laughs> hey, 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 I gotta say the Gi- they, they can't. You know, the only team that can beat the Patriots is the Giants. Apparently, man, my G man. They lost three times. <laughs> what? The Patriots. Yes, I know. Giants beat them twice. Yes, and then well, who else? Who else beat the Patriots before that? Uh, that, that lovely back to back. Dude, it's slipping me. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. It was so long ago. Yeah. Well, well, whatever. Who who cares? It's about gaming, right? Right. Now, uh, last week we reported that Joystick has uh, gone. It was shutting down, but 
But apparently it's been picked up by Engadget, so now it'll be uh, Joystick X and Engadget, and that's a brand new website, brand new logo and everything, and Joystick gets to live again. Hooray. Yeah, even though uh, we didn't get any sources from Joystick this week, so eh. unfortunately it Whatever. happens, right? Whatever. Um, Sega, 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 Sega. So we talked about how uh, they cut 300 jobs uh, last week, and um, they actually... Um, they actually are doing some other things besides that, which is weird. Uh, Sega showed that uh, Sega of America is downsizing. They're moving the company from San Francisco to Southern California. Uh-huh. So not only that, uh, IGN each, it, like reported the story, and then they actually uh, reached out to Sony of Europe. Or excuse me, Sony Sega. of Europe. Sega. <laughs> I look at SOE, uh, you know, whatever, whatever, man. So they reached out to Sega of Europe. And um, they uh, got a response from the SOE uh, uh, representative. We are all under consultation with a timed number of staff in the European publishing business and will be able to confirm decisions regarding any potential redundancies in the coming weeks. Hmm. Ooh, that just sounds uh, weird. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So in Japan, 300 Sega employees are uh, being offered voluntary retirement as part of the, the company's restructuring effort. Uh, we also talked about how uh, Sega is now changing the whole thing where they just want to make mobile games and PC games now, which, uh, funny enough, they did announce one game, Sonic Runners. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like basically an infinite runner type of game. But is it going to be a mobile game too? It is a mobile game, oh, dude. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, it's a teaser that they have. We'll show it. It's going to work for uh, iOS 7.0 uh, plus and Android, uh, Android users on um, you know, and the Android OS 2.3 and up. Um, it's going to be released, uh, at some point 2015 for Japan, everywhere else I don't know, but most likely it may be a release everywhere else. I mean, Sega wants money apparently, and this is the way they want it. Yeah. But it looks interesting, I guess, but it, it just looks like a money grab that like every other game like it is. So, yeah. You know, it's, uh, it's like a subway server kind of game. <laughs> yeah, basically. Now, another thing Sega did, uh, which is weird involving YouTube, and we also talked about, you know. Nintendo, the Nintendo and YouTube. Thing. Now, so Sega has been targeting YouTubers for co- copyright claim, apparently. Um, so he- here's the thing: it's coming uh, from uh, it's it's uh, they're doing copyright claims from the content ID. Um, it's but Sega US is saying that they do not deal with content ID on YouTube anymore. So they're assuming that it may be Sega of Japan or maybe it's somebody else. But it's happening uh, to, to a lot of. Uh, channels and a lot of uh, videos that have sega's games on it i i don't i again i don't like this you're getting free advertising from these people on youtube but sega wants that money just like nintendo wants that money uh, <laughs> I, I just i don't approve of this yeah i i actually agree with you on that i mean but i mean we come i guess we come from a different time or maybe we're just uh it maybe it's just di- just the difference of generations it's just so strange that we, they can't accept all this and uh, like this di- I mean it's not like it's new this has been something that's going on for the last couple of years so yeah. maybe it's relatively new but it's something that's uh, been conquering and people have been making money off of it and maybe that's what they don't like other people making money off their product but in all honesty the, like like you've said like before Sega needs to make better games yeah and Sega uh, games are, have been really crap lately <laughs> Yeah, but for lack of better word. Yeah, but not only that, uh, Sega just needs to realize that they're getting advertisement from this, and I feel like people will be playing these games. But if they're old games, then that sucks because they don't make money off of it, which is where I see Nintendo is coming from with that. Because if someone's playing Mario World still, and people are like, "Oh, I want to get Mario World," the only other option is Virtual Console. If they don't have a Wii U, then they're not buying it. They're probably yeah. get playing it through emulation, which sucks for Nintendo. It, if they if it gets bought secondhand at say like a thrift store or something like that. It's not worth anything to Nintendo because they don't make money off of that. Yeah, but well, I, I don't know. It's, it's when it, if you're if you're just enforcing this copyright stuff and whatever, people are just not going to play your games. Mm. So that means you're going to be losing out on the adver- the free advertising. So I just they'll find there's always going to be game devs who are going to be like, yeah, play my game for free. Like play play my game, show it to the world. So they'll stop playing your company's games and just play something else. Yeah, and that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, Speaking of uh, uh, games that are selling a lot, sur- <laughs> I guess it's selling a lot or not, but Surgeon Simulator, it has sold over 2 million copies. Surgeon Simulator, that big joke-ass game, which is a uh, guap-style type of game, 2 million copies sold. That, that's dope, man. That's really funny, <laughs> though, uh, honestly. Hey, whatever. I mean, I played it once. I don't have it. I didn't buy it, but I played it on someone else's phone who did buy it. What'd you think? It was actually kind of fun. It is. It was, it was interesting. I was like, oh, I, I could play this if it were free. 
<laughs> oh god that's <laughs> another thing too that's but that's the thing too is it being cheap or is it just you know that's me being that's me not wanting to pay for the game <laughs> just I, I don't broke. buy mobile games I, I don't either. I, I believe in free, but and all and all, it's kind of ironic because uh, they make more money off the free games than off the paid games, which is. You I mean, know, well, I, like I said, I don't throw money into freemium. Yeah. I'll sit there and wait for five days for something to. Well, you'd be supporting the Canadian double anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dude. You seen that South Park? Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, one last thing about all the games. Actually, no, a couple of more things about that of all the games because I got to do that again. Hironobu sakaguchi gosh i hope i said that name right but he is receiving a lifetime achievement award at the gdc 2015 which is the game developers choice uh, awards the 15th annual one and he will be getting it if you don't know him by name you definitely know him by the title that he created which was final fantasy yeah so uh lifetime achievement for him there we go congratulations to him hell yeah get a, get a, get that man a round of applause Woo-hoo. <laughs> definitely <laughs> now um we've talked about dying light it, it's kind of like a game <laughs> people like it uh, people relate it to um, to uh, Dead Island. Uh, people think it's a whole different game, and it still thinks it's a good game. Someone found an Easter egg, which we'll share, where uh, they found uh, the Mario level, Mario level 1-1 particularly, specifically, in this game, which uh, is very interesting. It's yeah, very right? cool. I like it. Jump down the pipe, and you're in Mario world. <laughs> yeah, literally. It's like you have to find a green pipe somewhere, and uh, that's, that's it. That's how you actually... Um, you go down it says like enter like world one one and it's there that's dope that's awesome and then the zombies that are supposed to be the goombas they're actually like mini zombies but they have this weird umbrella type of like costume on it's just strange yeah we'll share that for you because you guys are probably like what what is this we'll we'll share it down and you can uh you can definitely check that out (laughs) yeah definitely it's kind of tough to explain but uh yeah definitely uh, going on to Nintendo, because uh, I just realized we talked about Smash a little bit, but I also forgot about this glitch that we found, talking about uh, interesting things that people found. Uh, someone had discovered on their girlfriend's uh, 3DS, or uh, just in the game itself, but I think on the 3DS too, that uh, they're, they're, like, the items in the game were only tomatoes, maximum the, tomatoes. But no, no, don't think like, oh, everything just research health. No, they they had the functionality of the other items. They were just tomatoes yeah we, which we'll <laughs> definitely share with you as well I, I, like the the person described okay we tried the same exact game on other 3ds's and 2ds's nothing came of it like it was fine it was her 3ds and then they reformatted the game they they started the game from scratch everything they reinstalled everything like you know up to version 1.4.4 what excuse me 1.0.4 which is the latest version and and everything else updated to 3ds and still it happens tomatoes tomato everything there's even the the kukos are tomatoes the tanuki tomato which yeah. i thought was funny you know the the uh, steel diver was a tomato <laughs> yeah. and it shot little baby tomatoes <laughs> yeah, it was like dumb. it was so funny the boomerang was a a tomato a boomer tomato a boomer tomato a boomerito. Oh, it was just it was the it's the weirdest thing. And it's great. And I even love Pac-Man's it. little item that he creates yeah. with his neutral B is it was a tomato. <laughs> yeah, everything was tomato. It didn't even matter what you were doing. Just tomato, 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 tomato. Yeah, tomato, tomato. It was it was it's pretty funny. Again, we'll link that, you can check that out too. Yeah, a lot a lot of tough things to describe. Now, um going on to Nintendo stuff, because we just did. <laughs> ah. <laughs> um we want to talk about Club Nintendo. And Club Nintendo uh, it, it was shutting down. We talked about that. We talked about how uh, there's going to be new things going on with Club Nintendo, like uh, new items that'll be uh, coming up. Because we said in February, uh, early February, they were going to just uh, just give a bunch of stuff out. What it was, you don't know. But you know, last month it was like okay, they only had like what, like six or seven or eight games to pick from. Yeah, until, they didn't have too much to, until June, and then that was it. But now uh, February came around, February first, and. Um, Man, they crashed the website. Nobody can even go on. Like, right now, I'm trying to, like, preview it and see what's going on. And um, right now, it's like we're experiencing heavy traffic at the moment. So accessing your account may take a little longer than usual. <laughs> yeah, so, but uh, they that's because they put so much new stuff up. They put up some good stuff, too. A ton of games, which, like, were never given out. Like, I think they were given out free before. But even at this point, it's like, holy crap. Uh, and, and not only that... Um, a ton of like like cool like rewards like like for example the uh, the the Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time 3D um, jigsaw puzzle, yeah. which had like the, the like like I don't even know I couldn't even describe it to you because it's it's just it's just awesome. Yeah, 
it's just freaking amazing and i i i mean i won't be able to get it um but i can't even see what else they have so i'm probably gonna have to refer well, i know to they article. have the messenger bag the messenger bag is okay well, i don't wear a messenger bag so it's not for me yeah i don't wear a messenger bag either they had the uh the retro mario t-shirt which I've seen, but I have a better shirt of that. Like, I don't need that on the side. Like, I have one. Yeah, that's like, it's, it's that. weird. It's like weird. on, like, the side over here. Yeah. And then um, they had the Luigi poster and the... the yeah, the, like, the, the old the, school 2013 um, the Nintendo platinum, points yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. one. Which was pretty cool, which I, I would, like, would be cool to own, but I don't know. They yeah. had a new... Sm- set yeah, the of, second set of Smash posters is pretty which cool. I would have loved if I could just get the Duck Hunt one and that's it. I yeah, really right, just pay less coins for just the Duck Hunt one. Yeah, because I really don't want... They had the Shulk one and they had something else. Yeah. Yeah, and the other ones are like, eh, but I really love the Duck Hunt one. I have a yeah. picture of it on my phone, like like big quality, which is fine for me. But as a poster, would have been cool if I could only just get that one poster. And then it's like for selling it too. I mean, I don't really want to sell those either. Like I just feel, feel wrong, you know? Yeah. I, I just, it's just weird. But then they had a ton of other games. Yeah, they had a bunch of games to come out. Come like out Earthbound. Earthbound. Earthbound, right? That's what I was about to mention. Like yeah. when I saw Earthbound, I was like, oh my God, that's happening. But yeah. then I was like, wait, it's for Wii U and I don't have a Wii U, so... <laughs> damn uh and but, then new hey. mario brothers 2 which is like a big game for nintendo that came out big mario game anyway super mario 3d land is on this list too yeah um we fit you funny enough uh other big games too and it's like star, what the star fox 3d Six, yeah, star 64. fox 64 3d yeah uh, they and had they, they had Tropical Freeze on there. Yes, and was, they did. I actually I bought Tropical Freeze on a discount, which I still think is worth it. But people pick up that Tropical Freeze. I actually got Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D for uh, the 3DS. Yeah, yeah uh, that was on now, there too. Uh, is it on there again? Because yeah. they did it before, it's on like, there again, I think, yes. of last year. So and, uh, that was actually worth it, in all honesty. Yeah, no, uh, they got a bunch of really good titles on there. Yeah. So you, if you have coins to spare and you want to pick up a game or two, most definitely check it out when the, like, when the site wants to work. Yeah, because right the, now it's it's having problems. Yeah, exactly. People just want to get all these uh the exclusive, um stuff first, like yeah. all that all that uh, like the 3ds case and everything else, the cartridge case. I was right. They have cases and stuff too. Yeah, um, Splatoon. Uh, that made an appearance at Apex. <laughs> it did. Yeah. Uh, and uh, there was some uh, things revealed about it from the latest issue of Famitsu, which was translated by a uh, NeoGaf member, uh, Streets Ahead. So um. Apparently, you won't be able to talk to the people online. It's it's supposed to be like this co-op thing, you know, like a strategy type of game of, oh, you go here, you go there, you go here, you go there. But they decided to just cut that down and just like, you can't do it on the Wii U chat, which you have microphones and everything for. Now you just got to use Skype, which is kind of lame. I'm not sure if it's like a hardware limitation that's preventing that or if it's Nintendo being way too cautious of... It's Nintendo being too cautious. It's Nintendo being too cautious of like, you know, the 10-year-olds who are going to be like, I hate your mom. Like, you're like <laughs> I, would, I could obviously say much worse things, but I'm trying yeah. to keep it a little PG for the show. But you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, eh? But uh, there's, there's going to be some people who don't say nice things. Yeah. Uh, I am one of those people. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, it's just, I, I think Nintendo's being a little too cautious. Yeah. There's a report button for a reason, you know? If someone says something obnoxious, report them. Yeah. I mean, come on. That's, that's what reporting is there for. Uh, local multiplayer mode is going to be in the game and a hero mode, too. Uh, hero mode is going to be a 3D platformer with heavy emphasis on uh, human squid transformations. Uh, random matchmaking is done worldwide so it's no local no whatever probably with friends but worldwide and the game tries to place you with players close to your skill level based on ratings also gonna be like like an elo system yeah uh the game won't use cpu fighters so once eight human players have been found a match will start which is concerning because if this game doesn't sell well and there's not eight players online at one time (laughs) i think you're gonna it's it seems like one of those games is gonna have a fan base so you're always going to have... Yeah, I th- I feel like there's going to be a couple... At least a couple hundred on at any given time. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like there might even be thousands of people online at any given time. Yeah. So I, I don't think this whole, you know, eight-player thing is going to be a problem. I think it's going to be just fine. So, all right. And, and other things like that, too. Um, It's just... uh, It seems like an interesting game. I just hope it can survive, in all honesty. Cause, I, yeah. I think it's got some hope. I think so, too. It's got some promise. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X. Uh, this game we talked about last week, how it's going to uh, possibly take up two discs, which is like, holy crap, that's like 25 gigs, really, dude? Um, well, apparently, it's going to take about 300 hours to complete. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, like, wow. I mean, I'm pretty sure the main storyline is not going to be 300 hours. Yeah. But to, like, 100% the game, that's 300 crazy. Hours. 300 hours. 
There's no way it's going to be 300 hours to complete the, the storyline. Oh, yeah. That's way too long. That's that's too long for any just casual. Like, if you're a casual gamer, that just turned me off. <laughs> yeah, well, apparently, too, there was a glitch that if you went above 100 hours, the game would glitch and only freeze at 99 hours and 59 minutes, but they fixed that. So, yeah. you know, you can keep playing. 300 hours is so much time. <laughs> well, there's a lot of uh, land in that game. You saw how big that game was. All the walking in that trailer and the walking and then more walking. Yeah, but to complete a story mode, 300, that, no, no, no. 300 hours is like a comp- is like a 100% time. Possibly. Yeah, he said to complete. So I mean, maybe it'll take half that time, 150 hours to complete, maybe less. Usually it only takes about... Like 60 hours. 60 to 70 hours to, to, to p- complete, to beat a storyline. Yeah. So then, you know, after that, have fun. <laughs> like, that, that's what you do. That's that's the 100% thing. Yeah. Uh, so, let's see. Other facts about this. Uh, there's uh, Monolof Soft, the, the, you know, the creators who are making, you know, devs that are making this game, they said that they have, like, the best uh, voice casting crew ever. So, uh, they're really hyping themselves for that. Uh, there are about 90 tracks in the game, 90 different pieces of music in this game. It's probably also what's taking up the space, too, all that music. Pretty dope. Yeah. Uh, and, and other things like that too. The party's going to consist of four players. Uh, the player will control his or her character, while the other two are controlled by AI. Oh, yeah. Huh. That's interesting too. AI controlled. Yeah, I don't, I don't I, know how I feel about that. Well, I don't even know how the game works, so I couldn't even tell you if that's a good or bad. That's thing. true. I don't know how that's how it works, but I'm just saying, like, usually I like to control all my units. Yeah, that's true too. Um, which would like, be like an old school RPG where you could like let you can control and pick what one character does and what the other character does. Yeah. If they're gonna work automatically, that, that kind of sucks. Yeah, if I don't get to choose, like, what if I want character to to heal a character and he decides to attack on his own with CPU? Yeah, that's weird. I don't like that. I don't know. Maybe the game... I did again. You'll have to see how it works out. It yeah. might it might be smart. It might it might be smart and know what you're thinking, but I somehow don't think so. Yeah, I don't know. That's I mean, hey, if it's gonna be a game that big, who knows? Yeah, well, well, we'll have to find out. Yeah. Now, well, we talked about this a while back. There was going to be a Luigi's Mansion arcade, and uh, Sega's releasing it. I believe it's coming out in Japan, uh, the Sega of Japan, and it's, uh, it was actually shown at the uh, at the uh, at the J the, the J A E P O Expo J P O. Uh, and there's only two screenshots released of it. We'll show it, but there's not really much. Um, what you actually can do, who knows? Uh, that's all they got. You so get far. to carry around a backpack. And then with a the vacuum cleaner. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, the, that'd be the, dope. That that I don't know. I don't know if there's a, I, man. I, I don't know if they have the attachment where you actually put it on you and start hosing. Right, you just put it on your back and just like real life Ghostbusters it. Yeah, totally. But it's Luigi's mansioning it. But it's but it's still <laughs> it's Ghostbusting. Really, it's really Ghostbusters. Well, it's you Ghostbusting. You're not man. zapping lasers. You're just sucking in. Oh well, yeah, it's like you know vacuum <laughs> Ghostbuster man. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I'm about it. I'm about it. Don't cross the streams though. Don't cross streams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this past weekend, Rosalina was released. Uh, it was exclusive to Target, and it was like really, really. <laughs> how, well, how I, that, I say not just Rosalina. It was Lucario was exclusive to Toys R Us. Yeah, but I don't think I, they're released yet. No, they are. That uh, Lucario's out. Yeah, they were all released. No, on, on the there's first. actually no. I think Lucario's not even out yet. I, I was told everyone was coming out on the first. Yeah, no, they're none of them are out yet. Like I didn't. I don't have Mega Man yet because Mega Man's not out yet. There's like a wait on it. I don't think DDD's out yet either. There's like something strange going on where all the amiibos didn't get shipped out yet. Oh, yeah. Huh. Yeah, it's kind of a. Uh, it's kind of bad. Is that why? Because I went on like this humongous like amiibo hunt looking for. Like I went like first thing in the morning, and I couldn't find DDD, and I was like, I'm 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 sad. Yeah. No. But um. Yeah. No. Sheik was gone. Um. Let me see. Uh. I'm trying to just check, but no, it just looks like uh, right now it's just like. It, it's just, I just Bowser, I just, Toon Link, Sheik, and Rosalina. Yeah, I think actually uh, Meta Knight's out because even the uh, Best Buy. Uh, I think actually Best Buy just released Meta Knight. Funny enough, I don't know because I know Best Buy was supposed to read it, uh, release it a while ago. I don't know. Anyway, but it's so strange because uh, it's just so much mixed information about Amiibo that uh, I'm looking all over uh, our, like Reddit's uh, subreddit of uh, Amiibo or Amiibo, and I still remember checking it out for. When when it was all released on Nintendo World, because they released all of them. So Rosalina was out since like a week or so ago now. Lucario, all of them, except for I think Mega Man and some other characters. But I know a lot of them that were supposed to be uh, exclusive to certain stores were out in Nintendo World. 
Well, I can see that because it's Nintendo World. Yeah, but it sucks for people because, I mean, people were actually waiting online, 300 people on the line to get those Amiibo. Wow. And most of them are probably going to sell them, which is depressing. Yeah. Which is what we've gotten to at this point in Amiibo collections that people would have to do that. It's, it's, it's really lame. Yeah. Now, uh, I, I remember buying uh, Toon Link, and he came out before February 1st. I got Toon Link before it was supposed to be released, but I think uh, Toys R Us released it before anybody. They had released Toon Link, Bowser, and Sheik at the same time. Sheik yeah. was sold out. Nobody bought Bowser, so there was plenty of Bowsers there. <laughs> and then Toon Link, there was about two left, so I, I bought one. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I'm looking all over the place. I, I mean, it looks like some people have Meta Knight, some people don't. Uh, some people are complaining about that. The release date is changed in my Mega Man for Best Buy order. Uh, see, and that's another thing, too. It looks like uh, Mega Man's coming at a later date, and that's the, really the one I want. I want Mega Man. But I'm looking at this subreddit. I'm seeing people not only online for that event. There was people online for Rosalina <laughs> at Target. Yeah, one of my friends was lucky enough to pick one up. Yeah, I went there. I, I, I was uh, Before I went to work that day on Sunday, I, uh, I stopped by, and the, the person at Target like laughed at me like, no, they're all gone. <laughs> and I asked about a Rosalina. But yeah, no, people were taking pictures of different Targets around the U.S. and saying, I'm here, and you know, there's a line of like 10 people trying to buy a Rosalina. It's like, holy crap, really? Yeah, you know, like I said, my friend was... It's funny because my friend you know, he sent me a Snapchat, and there was like five Rosalinas sitting there. He's yeah. like, well, I got one. And I was like... Good for you. <laughs> like I don't, I don't care. I don't play the character, and I'm not into reselling. So I didn't, I didn't say, "Hey, pick me up one, bro." Like I was just like, "Nice, you got," because he he plays Rosalina, so yeah. he really wanted it. Yeah. So I wouldn't be surprised if he actually picked up two, because he like he's he's starting a collection too, mm. so he wants to have them all in boxes, and I'm pretty sure he picked one up to use. But yeah, I I don't know. Whatever. I don't even care. I think I'm just gonna use most of them. Yeah, I'll I open. use mine. Mine are mine I, are for play for you. That's what they're they're. They're here for. They're to use them. Yeah, I have my Kirby. Kirby I opened so far, but I'm probably gonna open the rest, the Fox and the Link and everything else. But that's characters I wanted too. I'm probably gonna pick up a Bowser too. Yeah, <coughs> I, I you know. Like I said, I'm gonna. Uh, I actually went into GameStop to see if I could pre-order the NES one. Yeah, and they were like, not yet. Yeah, so, you have to wait. Like, I want to get the uh, the Mega Man. Yeah, and Mega. So Man I, I was told, which I'll pass on to you guys. Uh, week of the thirteenth is when they're supposed to be opening up pre-orders on the way four. Gotcha. Well, I know the 20th, supposedly, Mega Man's coming out for Best Buy. And that's the thing, too. What's with all the mix-up of release dates? Toon Link was already out in Nintendo while they understand. It was at a Toys R Us before Street Date, which is supposed to be the first, and everybody else released Toon Link, and it's like, come on, now, like, what's with this inconsistency? Yeah, this is, of it's so inconsistent, this Amiibo stuff. I just want my characters. That's all I need. Just let me know when it's going to be. That's why I have to follow, like, Reddit Amiibo, because they have an actual tracking thread. Like, this is where this is. You go now and get it. Like, that type of thing. And it's like, is it really getting to that point so I could actually own one and use it and not want to resell it? Like, is it really that serious? It's ridiculous. <sighs> yeah, that, that is. And it's only that. They're, they're not going to be selling for that much either. So you're you're buying it for, for what, $13 and you're reselling it for $20? you are making $7 profit? Yeah, that's the other thing too. Like now Amiibos have like gotten cheaper as a, in the secondhand market. Exactly. Now so. that Nintendo announced that they're, they're going to be re-releasing some of them as cars and stuff, they, value the, they just went down in value. So I don't know why you're buying them to resell them at this point. Yeah. Now, um, interesting, one last thing about Amiibo, because we were kind of all over the place in that last segment, yeah. but something that was just announced, well, not really announced, but somebody found uh, a found this online where Nintendo was registering to get a silver Amiibo. They registered it last year. Um, it was a silver Amiibo of Mario and then the gold Amiibo of a Mario. Hmm. And it's like, why? <laughs> um, I, I, I can't tell you. I, 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 I couldn't tell you. I'm confused. What is going on? What's with this Amiibo stuff? With uh, gold and silver. I don't know, man. It's, it's I guess, a different look. That's yeah. about it. Yeah. It's going to have the same functionality as any other Amiibo. Yeah. Now, uh, going on to the Nintendo stuff, uh, I was looking at Forbes, funny enough. And Forbes talked about how the Wii U is Nintendo's uh, slowest co- selling console ever, 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 ever. Uh, even and, and you're probably thinking, well, what about the GameCube? Yep, even slower than that. And and the, and the GameCube was like, you know, the 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 core. People loved their GameCube. The few people that owned it, and it did sell very slowly, especially considering that there was a more powerful console than the PlayStation Two and the Xbox that was released, the original one. Nobody really wanted that because they were just like, what the hell is this small little disc? What the hell is this? Why is I this loved cube? my GameCube. I, I actually had three of them. I skipped on it because I was like, what the hell's with the backwards technology? Like, why am I going to look at blurrier graphics than a 64 when I could look at awesome graphics on a PS2? They weren't blurrier graphics. Oh, yeah. They were downgraded a lot. 
for I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I felt like Melee wasn't too bad. No, it wasn't at all. <laughs> but it, it's just it, it's just sad because um, I was even looking more so. Uh, this story breaks it down. It, it, it's a really good, like, write-up. Uh, but in, in all honesty, it's talking about, too, like, you know, it's it's they have to be able to, you know, uh, re- release these new games. And not only that, the games have to be nice looking. But I mean, it's it, it, the graphics are nothing compared to the next gen games that are already out. So yeah. it caused the conflict. Now, going to Sony, because uh, I w- definitely should have pulled this up. <laughs> but um, Sony's numbers were ridiculous because Sony uh, had announced that they sold 6.4 million PS4s at the end of 2014. Now, we talked about the end of the year sales for the Xbox One and for the Wii U. We were just waiting on Sony. 6.4 million. Jeez, that puts them over, like, I think it's over 20 million for the year. Well, I'll, for give you, release. I'll give you the numbers from Wikipedia, and I know Wikipedia, but this is, like, really, the, I don't, I, you know, I don't have access to the actual N, ND, NDP, whatever that's called. Yeah. I don't have any of that. But... The, uh, like, here's the breakdown of what, at the same time period. So, okay. So, as I said, the PS4 sold 6.4 million units in that time frame at the end of 2014. Um, the Wii U, excuse me, no, before I get into that, Xbox 360 and Xbox One sold 6.6 million together. Together. Yeah, which, which is, is kind of, less than the, the PS4 by itself. Yes. And then not only that, for the same part, the same time frame, the Wii U sold 1.91 <laughs> million Jeez. consoles. And uh. that's just, I mean, Nintendo's struggling. Nintendo really is yeah, struggling. Yeah, they are. Now, here's the, the totals according to Wikipedia. The PlayStation 4 uh, is at 19.9 million. I was close when I said 20. Yes, yep. I was about 100,000 off. <laughs> yeah, you just rounded up. And that was off the top of my head. I didn't look at that article either. <laughs> I'm just saying. Nice. Um, the Xbox One, they have it estimated at about 10 million. They're not 100% on that. So I, I give or take with that. But uh, the Wii U has an official number of 9.2 million. Okay. Which is kind of like they they're still under the Xbox One, uh, and it's remember yeah, the Wii U's been out a year longer than the two of those consoles. Yeah, which is sad. Yeah, both of them combined have sold a lot more than the Wii U, which is kind of like I well, mean, I mean, what the hell happened? You're combining the wrong consoles. If you combine the Xbox One and the Wii U, it's still less than Sony. Yeah, exactly. And it's just it's just I don't know, man. Final stories. I mean, this is really it. <laughs> yeah, I told you we didn't have too much. It was a slow week. <laughs> yeah. Um. Sony uh, sells off the studio behind EverQuest and Z1, H1Z1, which is Sony Online Entertainment. They're not making games for Sony anymore. So those games that I just mentioned are probably going to be on Xbox, maybe. Who knows? But, uh, I mean, they were kind of independent from Sony Media. Didn't EverQuest come out on PC anyway? Yeah. So, I don't know. It's just And kinda... H1Z1 was on PC too. Yeah. So now I guess it might be on one more console. Now, of course, they can't call themselves Sony Online Entertainment. Yeah. So they uh, picked the name. Their name, the name of the new company is going to be Daybreak Game Company LLC. That doesn't sound uh, too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. And they, they said right now they're going to be making Xbox games. So there we go. Yeah. You, you screw me. Screw you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, I mean, that's good for them. But then, like, you know, uh, who's making games for Sony now? Uh, I don't know. Other companies? They're, I mean, if if the PS4 is just exclusively a uh, third-party console and that's it, I mean, what does that really say about the other two consoles? Where It doesn't matter know? because PS4 is winning. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah. They're winning. They don't need anything. Yeah, I mean, it's true. Because, I mean, Nintendo, all they have is their first party, and that's how much they can drive. Sony's got everything third-party. I mean, at, the, at some point, I mean, we the two Japanese companies maybe they'll combine again. Maybe they'll maybe they'll get over the Super Nintendo PlayStation, <laughs> the uh, Sontendo. <laughs> yeah, I remember that was supposed to be a combo. They were supposed to have uh, compact discs for uh, the Super Nintendo. It was going to be called oh, wow. the PlayStation. I don't remember that. I can't. You know, yeah. sorry, I don't think I, ever, I was old enough. <laughs> yeah, well, then plus two, you had to read the old stories, man, <laughs> of the old console wars, and then Nintendo said, no, "Yeah, I, I wanted to read the console wars. I just never got to it." Yeah, well, you know what? I never read it, but I I know I was I was there. <laughs> I was there. Man. I was there, man. <laughs> no, I wasn't but, there. No, but uh, but I know that the they, the deal went the deal fell through. Nintendo felt comfortable with Philips, and that's why the whole Philips CDI fiasco happened. And then, you know, Sony went on did their PlayStation itself, and there you go. The rest, as they say, is history. Mm-hmm. Uh, our final story: we're going to be leaving on Call of Duty. Uh, <laughs> That's a really crappy place to put it. <laughs> um, the Havoc DLC is going to be coming to PlayStation consoles and PC later this month. That's that's really it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's about it for the Two Bird Gamers podcast. Sorry we didn't have enough. Uh, hopefully we didn't miss anything. Hey, but it was we a looked, slow week, man. Hey, it what is what it say? is. We got to Hey, you guys out. got a short show. 
Yeah, exactly. You don't have to sit through four hours. <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, you can follow us on uh, Twitter. Um, well, our individual ones. Uh, minus at Steve B. Agilism. That's A-G-I-L-I-S-M. And I'm at Rick, uh, T-E-H underscore Rick. Uh, and then you can also follow our actual show podcast, Which The Number is Two. at The Number Two. Well, not The Number Two Broke Gamers Pod. But it's with the number two. Yes. And then, uh, of course, if you're not checking it out on YouTube, check us out on YouTube. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Comment, and, rate us. Whatever. Yeah. Our video should be coming soon. We're trying out experiments. We're, and so far. We're, uh, we're trying stuff. We're trying stuff. Uh, maybe this one will be a, a first trial video. Who knows? Uh, we just have, we just really don't have much. Yeah. <laughs> it just be a straight up video. Like, that's it. It does. I know. And it's, uh, and yeah, there we go. And if anything, we're going to have to explain ourselves. Look, yeah, we're two broke gamers, but we're in a community college station if you see this. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah this is why it looks all fancy and nice. But no, this is this, we're, we're too broke to have our own thing going on. <laughs> all right. Two broke gamers. We're out of here. Peace. Oh, wait, the blog. Oh, duh. <laughs> of course. Two broke gamers podcast dot wordpress.com for the blog so we'll see you all um actually we won't see you next week next week we're gonna be off for personal reasons so is the other week as and then well the following we'll be on vacation yeah so, so um we, we got we'll probably see you guys in two weeks and peace cheers